The recent announcement around the $4 billion over the next five years for uh, climate mitigation is a real boost for what is, you know, arguably the most challenging issue of our time. What's great about it is it really is already demonstrating that philanthropy is willing to do more. Um, over the last five years, there had been a total of about $3 billion committed to climate mitigation efforts. And um, what is also great is it's not directing them towards any specific activity. Some may say it is uh, electrifying the transportation systems globally. For some, it is looking at carbon dioxide removal strategies. For some, it is continuing to phase out coal throughout the global infrastructure of energy systems. We're winning, we're just not winning fast enough. So ClimateWorks is a philanthropic organization that works globally to advance climate solutions. We do this by making grants and we do this by providing a range of services to help the global philanthropic community come together to tackle climate change. So we started working with partners in the philanthropic community to talk to more philanthropists and help them understand climate change and how it impacts issues that they are perhaps currently working on or care about and bring other funders into the conversation with the aim of expanding the resources available to advance climate solutions. There is strength in numbers. The power of cooperation and collaboration is hugely important. The world's richest philanthropist cannot solve any problem on his or her own. So it really takes the power of coming together to demonstrate that one and one can actually make three. But we really understand the power of cooperation and collaboration as being an accelerant and an exponential uh, ingredient to really driving the kind of exponential change we need. One of our premises is that philanthropy will be uh, more effective if we all work together. And to support that, we help bring climate funders together. We convene meetings. We uh, create affinity groups that are interested in shared strategies and we provide a set of information and analysis and strategic insights to everyone working in climate philanthropy to help them inform their own decision making and make the best possible use of their resources. Over the last 10 years, we know that philanthropic investments have made a difference. If we were sitting here 10 years ago, we were on a five to six degrees Celsius trajectory for a global temperature increase by 2100. Um, that is apocalyptic. However, there's a lot of good news. With the philanthropic investments and what governments and private sector are doing, we now have bent that curve down to about three degrees. If we are able to reduce emissions to the point where we can meet those global climate goals, then we will provide uh, tremendous benefits for, for humanity, which is why this is such an important area for philanthropy. It's really trying to break down uh, barriers quite honestly, between the philanthropic community. So we can start to see synergies that take place between health and climate, or food and ag and climate, or the global development community and climate. We really understand that we can accomplish more by working together.